Alex Polo has just secured his third IndyCar Series title in four years, and this year's championship has now sparked a debate about where he sits in the series history, and is he already amongst the series greats? Now we have to say it's nigh on impossible to compare greats from different eras of the championship, but definitely one thing we can say about Polo is he's won his championships during one of the most competitive phases in the championship's history. Now in fairness, I don't think a lot was expected of Alex Polo when he first joined the championship, as in a European racing scene he was barely known of, let alone in America. He forged the majority of his career in Japan, where he did have success in Asia, but seemingly giving up on any desires of Formula 1 at the time, he decided to make the jump over to America to forge a career in single-seaters. After joining Dale Coin Racing for his first season in IndyCar, he secured his first podium at Road America and done enough in the championship that he got promoted to the Ganassi Racing Team for 2021. Now bear in mind he's had to win his championships alongside series legend Scott Dixon, who himself is a six-time champion and is no mean feat to beat. Palo has also had to win his championships by taking on Team Penske, with three of their drivers having a combined four titles and 82 race wins. He's also had to contend with series stalwarts Andretti Global and the emerging Arrow McLaren team, although it can be argued that both those teams aren't quite at the level of Ganassi and Penske. The biggest thing that seems to hold Alex Polo back from being among the greats in the series is that people are saying he's not yet won an Indy 500 or an oval race yet. And until he successfully gets that monkey off his back, a lot of people won't put him in the greatest list just yet. Especially when you compare him to series legend Dario Franchitti who won four titles in five years between 2007 and 2011, including two Indy wins with two different teams. But you certainly can't have any doubts over his consistency and his ability to win on road and street courses. As the 33 points that Will Power trailed Palo by entering this year's finale was the closest that any driver had been to the Spaniard coming into the final race since 2021. He not only wins but his consistency is just like a machine with over 80% of his starts resulting in a top 10 finish and 61% of his finishes in the top 5. And so far he's racked up 11 career wins on road and street courses in his career. But a driver with the talents of Alex Polo, it's only a matter of time that he'll get his oval victory. And after seemingly dropping any desires of joining Formula 1 now, after deciding against joining the McLaren structure, where he did have a taste of free practice in Austin, Texas in Formula 1, and he was also linked fleetingly with the upcoming Audi F1 team for 2025 and 2026. It seems that he's put that part of his career to bed, as he's decided that he's too old to make the jump. So all being well, he'll have a long-term IndyCar career in front of him with many years ahead. And there can be no doubt that he's definitely a legend in the sport, as he's just the 13th driver to win at least three titles and just the 7th to win three in four years. And if he did decide to pack it all in and take up a new challenge elsewhere, he would already be in the Hall of Fame for the IndyCar Championship. And with him only being 27 and already a three-time champion, he could realistically have another 10 years or more in the championship, and could double his title tally and also chase a lot of the records above him from the series legends. And you would think if he's got 10 years of his career in IndyCar remaining, with 10 opportunities to crack that Indy 500 duck, surely it's only inevitable that Alex Polo is going to be one of the greatest of all time in the IndyCar series history. But IndyCar fans, let us know what you think of Alex Polo and do you already rank him among the greatest of all time in the IndyCar series already? As always, thank you very much for watching one of our videos and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel at the end as your support is always appreciated and we love doing IndyCar content.